So we're going to be uh, teasing up some sailfish. Things are a little bit quiet on the reef today. So we're going to burn up and down the, the southern end of the, the reef with uh, strip baits. It's just like a belly of the bonitos with no hook in it. Uh, just behind the prop wash, the sailfish come up and they kind of, they, they knock it around, but they don't get hooked because there's no hook in it. And uh, divers jump in, dive straight down, about three, four meters down underneath the prop wash and the sailfish uh, swim right up to you. And um, hopefully today we'll get a couple ticks on the sailfish board, you know? Team were on a hunt for a 30 kilo sailfish. Castor Bank teeming with these fast growing fish. With two divers simultaneously targeting fast moving fish, it can prove dangerous without a plan in place. Shoot left. Don't shoot your buddy. Easily done if you don't concentrate. Just got to remember, straight up on the right hand side. It wasn't long before there were two sailfish on the strip baits, and all hell was about to break loose. This one I'd given up, eh? <laughs> selfish, selfish, is there. Um, did everything right, turned my camera on, in, and the selfish just wouldn't come within range. Must have stayed, what, Chris, 15 meters from us? 10 meters. Yeah, to the, you know, it just wasn't close enough. And I swam at it, swam at it, grunted, went to the right to try and make it veer, went to the left, and I just couldn't catch it there. <laughs> Bug it down. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, that was a beautiful fish, though. <laughs> it should be illegal, there. Like, some sort of drug. <laughs> We're crawling along, uh, the southern part of Castor Bank's ledge uh, and the fish normally sits at about 60 meters so he pulls going up to the ledge and then back out to like 60 70 so just zigzagging all the way along the ledge and uh, that's normally where we find them. Strip baits are out already. Potty and Chris discovered the thrill of shooting a Sally on a real gun as they doubled up on two solid fish. Fish for dinner tonight, boys. Yeah. Came right up, swimming right up to me, and uh, got a nice shot just behind the head. Got towed around a little bit, but big, awesome fun. <laughs> Amazing fun. A spearfishing trip can take months of meticulous planning and preparation, but without an experienced guide, even the best plan can fail. Coatsman, one of the best spearfishing guides south of the equator, really showed us what he's made of. Wrangling a live bonnie in the vicinity of so many sharks is not something you should try at home.
after a perfect stone shot on a decent sized fish and a little help from Chris, Potty landed his first ever dog tooth tuna. Things were heating up with both doggies and shark numbers on the rise. Chris was soon lining up on a doggy, praying for a kill shot. Without one, there was sure to be trouble with all the sharks around. With some help from Coatsman, he soon had this beautiful fish under control and intact. While taking pictures, we attracted the attention of a beautiful sailing, which Potty was soon lining up on. That was a good shot, eh? This fish looked immediately bigger than Potty's previous sailfish. And although they are not always the strongest, sailies can be aggressive while trying to land, often attacking divers. Taking photos with my doggy, and a selfish came to check it out. <laughs> Wanted to be in the pictures too, eh? so I shouted, "Selfish, selfish!" And then Potty swam up to his flashy, dived down, good shot. Pulled the boys away. We had to get on the boat, chase them. What a awesome day, man! Okay, Chris. Please need a quick picture of you. What? 31, 30, yeah. 29, 31. 31. Tick. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, it's a oh, bad time in the park, man. <laughs> Tick on the trip for Potty, eh? 31 kilogram selfish. <laughs> Woo! Chris, Dream come true, eh? Like well done, mate. Like, Excellent shot, eh? Wow, man, you see a smile on that guy's face. Man, what a privilege to come out to the craziest places shooting the most insane fish and and then we get to share it with the guys like that. They've traveled hundreds of miles just to come and fish on the reef here. And I think we've just made their week, you know? Whole lot of fish. They were super stoked, so they're like, I'm chuffed. So how was that day, eh? Yo, so we've uh, we battled a little bit of currents and uh, just finding the fish. And um, got an area called Wall and All, um, known for lots of sharks and things like that. But uh, the doggies were there, the sailfish were there. We did a bit of trawling in that area. Uh, Potty landed up with a 30 kilo selfish, which is a tick. And I mean, that's what this whole trip's about, is getting these ticks off the shirt. And Potty got a good one. But both Potty and Chris, they both stoned perfect shots, perfect shots on doggies, about 25 kilos. And uh, what a great way to start the trip. I mean, this is good, good shots, good fish. Wow, can't wait for the rest of it. The Spear Junkies Madagascar adventure was off to an epic start. With the first tick under their belts, the team took some time out to swim with some of the ocean's most majestic creatures, the green turtle. These massive creatures congregate in the shallow grass banks below the enchanted forest of Sakatia Island to feed. once-in-a-lifetime experience sharing the ocean with these ancient creatures. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as much as we enjoyed making them. Here's a playlist over here with some more of the Spear Junkies videos in them. Please subscribe so you catch the next ones as they come out and hit us up a like. It really does help with Google. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.